culture. Nobody likes to even say the word. You know, but the reality is just about everybody in the world has to deal with cancer. Not that they themselves might have cancer, but I believe it affects every family on this planet. Cancer is terrible. There's no doubt about it. Back in biblical times, it was leprosy. Uh, but leprosy, you were maimed and crippled. Uh, but most of the time you lived. But cancer is a killer. So many people that die from cancer. And why am I even talking about cancer if it's so bad? Well, I know I've had it in my family. Uh, my daughter had it. My sister had it. Uh, there's others in the family that have had it, have taken treatment. I read an article this morning, and I'm just going to get it up here. It was about a young family, had a lot of young children they adopted. They had a daughter, son, others that had cancer in their adopted family lost a 14 year old boy back in 2011 this was written in 2010 uh, and it was a tragic story i'm not going to share the story with you i just wanted to bring it to your attention that there are children so many children that have cancer and are dying and everybody looks at it as something terrible but there's another cancer in the world today, and nobody is talking about it, looking at it uh, to any extent. And every one of us has this cancer, this spiritual cancer. It's called sin. Nobody talks about sin, just like nobody wants to talk about cancer. But it's a killer but not in the physical sense, but in the spiritual sense. And there are people all over the world that are dying of this spiritual cancer. And it happens at the time of our death, our physical death. And this cancer is something that's incurable once you step off this planet and there's only one cure for it today and that's faith in the right object and the object of your faith in order to cure cancer spiritual cancer sin is to put your faith in the one who took your cancer on himself and he nailed it to a tree, the cross. The Lord Jesus Christ is the only answer. He said, I am, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Christ is the only answer to spiritual cancer. And you can, you can avoid it. You can say, well, I don't think I have to worry about it. Maybe you're young. But remember, physical cancer kills young people. And spiritual cancer kills young people. So whether you're young or old, wherever you are in your walk of life, you're walking around with spiritual cancer that's uncurable unless you go to the great physician. And our great physician is the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the one who died for our sins, for our cancer. And he took it upon himself. 
And the only way he could do this was he had to be like us. He became a man. God, the creator of everything, had to come down and take on flesh and blood just like us. And he had no cancer of his own. He had no sin of his own. But he took our sin, our cancer, upon himself. And he took it to the cross. And he nailed it there. And then he died. Taking our cancer and casting it as far as the east is from the west. And he chooses to remember it no more. And we don't have to deal with it anymore. You know, I could get physical cancer, but I no longer have spiritual cancer because I went to the great physician and he cured me by dying for me and taking my place. And he's done the same thing for you. You just have to believe it. The Bible says without faith, you can't please God. There's no other cure except one, and that is what God has provided for us. He has forgiven our sins, and we can spend eternity with them in a pure, clean place where there's no such thing as cancer physical or spiritual, because sin cannot come in the presence of God. Something to think about. Let me ask you, are you still walking around with cancer, spiritual cancer? If you are, you better go to the great physician, for he's the only one who has the cure. Bye for now.